I want to make a cross beam here so when I can hit it right in the middle, it'll open up both and I can tap on the back and it'll release it. Okay, I went ahead and got it level, get it even. Got the mark on there where I need to cut it. So let's go ahead and cut. All right, so what I did was, since I have these borders, I could hit this up against it. I got this angled up against it on the little pivot mark. Did the same thing on this side, on the pivot mark. It's clamped down, and this thing ain't gonna move. Will not move up or down, side to side. Done. Hot. Now what I'll do is, is uh, just trim it up. Get a bunch of these. Get one of these and do it. All right. So what do I need to do? Find a hole, drill the holes on this, and then circle the holes, drill the holes in there, and then we're good. That's where I decided. Kind of halfway in between on the, the mark. Let's drill it out. Need to get this. I will say that if you don't have one of the most important things cutting in that kind of stuff is hole punch. Make sure you have a hole punch. That's very important. Sometimes I do three, just so I know it's in there. There you go. And that'll help start your hole on the right spot. And there you go. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. That side and that side. So, now, put it on there find the markers and then we're good so I just did the markers on this look at that right there in the middle right there in the middle not too shabby this is offset a little bit and this one's offset a little bit but it works out perfectly for where they're located and if they're angled or anything make sure if you can always make the uh, get your tap out Before you start drilling all right so they're clean right they still need to be deburred on both sides that way you get them flush now i'll do this a little bit different just for the mere fact that there's not much clearance on that back side hitting this wheel so i need to do it in reverse which is no big deal so for right now these are all the size i had for a thick screw with something to go and then I have these wing nuts. So if I ever need to take them off, I can. Now I'm gonna use the wheel, AKA this bad boy, and I'm going to cut them off. So what I wanna do is, is just kind of cut it off right at the end. I'll make a mark with this pen so you know, kind of right here. This, when I go this way, hits that wheel. So, it's probably hitting that wheel. What are we gonna do? So this isn't as easy as it looks. So, I need to bring it up to here and all the way there. So basically, all that needs to go over here. Same thing, what we got going on. 
over here to there. We gotta clean this up right here. And we'll clean that up there. Same with this, clean this up, clean that up. say this actually stows up good enough i don't even think i'm gonna grab anything it's heavy enough to where it sits there and won't fall down and these are loosey-goosey i love it it's done